Wednesday. It's One Word Wednesday, guys. Um, how are you doing? First of all, we've even brought you We're in the conversation. We're fine. Yeah, it's like Dora. You just got to pause. How are yeah. you doing? Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. Cartier. I, I am Cashmere with a K. Cashmere with a K. This here is Frank with a F with, or a PH for Philadelphia. It should be PH probably. Philadelphia Frank. Yeah. Yeah. Frank from the Philadelphia Phillies. No, just Frank from Philly. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that. Hey, Frank. Frank from Philly. We're hey. from Philly and we missed um, the dedication to... Um, it looks like they made a big court, a basketball court in Philly for, for Kobe and Gigi. Oh, well, and in Philly? Like proper? Or was it in... Um, Marion? He went to Lower Marion. No, I think it's in Philly. Um, like I said, we missed it, but I saw it on um, Vanessa Bryant's Like an outdoor Instagram. court or an indoor facility? Outdoor court. For the public? I believe so. Huh. And like these beautiful murals, like super photographic lifelike um, depictions of... Of Kobe and Gigi, and I think like more than once. Like n- it's not just one mural; it's like yeah. Oh, well, um, to go. Yeah, and shoot some hoops. Sh- we have to go. Yeah, I don't know. Um, there were like a lot of cops there, and um, in in the one um Instagram post of Vanessa's, it's like thank you so very much to the Philadelphia Police um force for for making this safe. I guess. Um, yeah, it's Philadelphia is very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious no it's no laughing matter um, it's not no it's 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 terrible the mayor said i cannot wait to stop being mayor yes he said i i i want to get out of here the mayor yeah it's it's like a, the captain's abandoning ship um it is sad it is um not good obviously uh, there was, on the fourth of july there was a fourth of july shooting down at the parkway and that just is an addition to Oh yeah, the countless shootings that we have all the time, and yeah, yeah. The problem is you can't point your finger in any which way and say this is the reason. Yeah, everyone will have have their own reasons. Right. Oh, it's the DA. Oh, it's the school systems. Oh, it's you know the gun laws. But a lot of things need to be fixed, and um, you know, it's very it's a, problematic, it's, and it's very dangerous. Yeah, it's very very dangerous. But um, you know, it's a great city, and hopefully, yeah, we can uh. We can make it a, a better city. Yeah. City of brotherly love. Yeah. Phil. Phila or something. Yeah. Is city Delphia? I don't know. What are you saying? Phil- Philadelphia. It's like it's like Latin or something. Like Oh. Philo yeah. No. Or- so, yeah. I, I learned that. Uh, city, like Philadelphia means like brotherly love. Right. In like, yeah, Latin. Like Latin Phila maybe. Okay. And Delphia. But I always thought it was two separate things. Like. Oh, we were just coined, but no, that's what right. the a little named it. S- a little city slogan, old, old, you know. Old Ben Franklin or ben Thomas S- Jefferson. No, no. Um, Ben Franklin. Right? No, William Penn. What am I saying? Why well, I keep saying Ben Franklin? He frequented <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Yeah. Billy Penn looks over the city from City Hall. Well, now he looks through the city. Billy no Penn longer the has been dwarfed building. by the city. Maybe that's why there's so many shootings. So Willie, they Penn. did say when I was growing up, they said never build taller than Billy Penn. You will be cursed. Yeah, you will be cursed. And we obviously built taller because it's a very low building now in our current world. But do you remember? I think it was like when the Phillies won the the World Series, and they were like making jokes that they had put a small little Billy Penn thing. Oh my god! Did com- they really? On top of the Comcast building. That's funny. So he was once again looking over the city. Regardless, I want to go back to your. Is that a rap name? Kashmir? Yeah. No, Kashmir is um I'm Kashmir with a K because Kashmir with a C is the fabric. The fat, very soft. Very soft to Kashmir. Luxurious. Sweater. Yeah, you can't put it in the washing machine. No. And that's because it's goat hair. Yeah. It doesn't sound as great when you put it like that. I know, it doesn't, but it's very expensive. Oh, do you like my goat hair well, sweater? Well, I mean, silk do you comes. Like my cashmere sweater? Isn't silk from a worm? Silk worm. True silk, yeah. yeah. Silk, I think. So, Kashmir with a K is where those Kashmir with a C goats come from. It's spelled differently? Yeah, cashmere. So I'm K-A-S-H-M-I-R. Why is it spelled differently? It's it's a, a Indian, I think. Yeah, well, then the word would... I don't know. Do you think that like traders in the olden days... Trader Joe's? You know, where right now we can go on Google Maps and see cashmere 
do you think? Because I imagine. I don't know how old you know, the fabric. You know, like when the Mayans didn't really care about gold because they had so much of it. Right. And then you go and get it. Was it like that? Like, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Old traders went over there. Okay. And it's like, where are we? They're like, welcome to Kashmir. And it's like, whoa, what do you have around your shoulders? Oh, this old thing? It's my goat sweater. What kind of goats? Oh, they're cashmere goats. Can I buy it? Sure. I don't care. Buy it. I forgot about your stories. And then they, <laughs> and then they, 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 they boat back to England and say, markets, towns, yes. uh, seamstresses. It's making sense now. I have cashmere. Mm-hmm. And they're like, we're going to sell that. Yeah. And it's like, okay, but make sure you need to label it properly because this isn't just regular cotton right. sweater. Right. And it's like, okay, uh, how should we label it? It's like, well, it's cashmere goods. It's, it's cashmere. Okay. Um, can you spell that for me? Right. And then they're, they look up and it's like, shoot, I did not ask the cashmere no, but, people but also, how to spell it. But also. And then they think, well, cash. How do I spell cash? Yeah. C-A-S-H. Okay. Yeah. So it must be C-A-S-H-M. E-R-E. E-R-E. Kashmir. And only now in the future are we saying, that's not how you spell it. That's not how you spell it. Interesting. Right. That's, that's a great little walkthrough because I'm thinking even if they had seen the, the name of the country, it would have been written in their letters. Oh. So they wouldn't have even known that the English letters were K-A-S-H-M-I-R. Yeah. It would have been those loopy, hooky, straight, square. Are you sure? Am I sure? Of like what? The, what alphabet they use? No, but all alphabets are straight, are straight and loopy, <laughs> hooky and square. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I like the uh, the old. What do we use? The Arabic alphabet. We use hieroglyphics. No, we don't. <laughs> yeah, I like our alphabet. Yeah. Ah. Well, you're used to it. Yeah. I like guess. Russian to me looks like backwards and upside down, but yeah. that's because I'm I'm not used to my but P's looking that's, like that. That's, yeah, that's what's confusing about Russian, right? Because it's like. All of the shapes and stuff. Like mm-hmm. when you look at Chinese characters, mm-hmm. you're like, that is a font of its own. That is a that is an alphabet of its own. Yeah. Well, it's Where art, it's like, really. They do yeah. the s- the swipes. Yeah. You know. And then when you look at like yeah, Russian, it's like, well, you're right there. I mean, that is a that is a you know a, yeah. a p, but it's the wrong way. Um, Korean is very blocky as well. I find. Um, but still in the sort of Asian character esque way, right? Yeah, but I think, but 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 less, less of the pen stroke and more of like like yeah. you could stamp it. I always find it fascinating because you don't think about it. Of like, I know it's a silly thing to think about, but foreign keyboards are in foreign. Oh, lettering. I know, I know. Um, and even on a smaller scale of other people that use the same symbols we use, like yeah, a German keyboard is different than a american keyboard you could also you could also just put um an app or an attachment so you use the america you use the english keyboard but it's typing in arabic do you know that but the that's confusing right because it's not a one-to-one yeah i don't know like that would be translate that would be like google translate real time yeah and not real uh, you're not you're not yeah, spelling you're right. You're right. an English word in Arabic letters. You're spelling an Arabic word in Arabic letters. Oh, so you're just writing and it is just translating for you. Yeah. Well, you would have to translate after you put a word. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're right. But I'm not the country. I am the song by Led Zeppelin. The song by Led Zeppelin. Kashmir? Kashmir, yeah. I have a song with that? Led well, Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Led um, Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin is, is an English rock band i thought they were american no i thought it was like metallica no are they in the same category um i oh. am not a great person to ask acdc we i need... think i think they're more i think i think led zeppelin led them <laughs> i bet they did <laughs> uh i think i'm not great to know any of this but i do know that they were a new rock genre and uh, they okay. and they where um, were they from England. The 80s? No. Oh, 70s. 70s. I thought 70s was like the Beatles. Or was that no, the 60s? that's the 60s. I thought the 60s was like Frank Sinatra. Or was that the 50s? <laughs> <laughs> um, Led Zeppelin, they, they have a very famous song called Stairway to Heaven and a um, very, okay. very famous song called Stairway to Heaven. But one of the lead guys, I don't know, Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, he said, eh, I like Cashmere better. Really? Song. Well, Led Zepp, Song. I don't know. I don't know Stairway to Heaven. Um, but it's people People use it a lot, right? I think I've heard kids that are learning guitar 
and they're like, oh, play play Stairway to Heaven. Like, so what I'm saying is, is it one of those things where like the true artist is like, yeah, it's our most popular song, but I like the deeper songs. Maybe. <laughs> Stare. Okay. So it's One Word Wednesday. Hey, it's One Word Wednesday, guys. Um, How are you doing? First of all, we haven't even brought you We're in the fine. conversation. Yeah, it's like Dora. You just got to pause. How are yeah. you doing? So on One Word Wednesday, we pick a word out of the English dictionary, yeah. which uses the font. I keep saying font, but it is the characters. Yeah, characters. Alphabet, yeah. Characters that we use. And um, we pick a word and we, we, we chit chat about it. We talk about it um, and then we maybe bring some spiritual significance. I don't know if there's any spiritual significance in Led Zeppelin, but I guess we'll see. Well, spiritual significance, there used to be great controversy that there was satanic significance. Yeah, that's what I hear. That's what I hear. Um, and But yet it, it, it was never proven. So um, Led Zeppelin came up in the 70s and... Um, at that t- more in the so in the 80s because i remember so anyway they came up in the 70s and um they were like this rock band and they just did musical you know all with the many instruments and the lyrics and the things and the words and the drums and the um but but um things weren't as cut and dry as they had been like you just mentioned in the 60s where you're singing a song that kind of makes sense doo-wop, and there is <laughs> like <doo-wop>. yeah <laughs> right and there's the, the melody yeah. and, and it was people could okay i get that and even if it was a little saucy or racy as some of the like love you know yeah. the, the love songs had gotten but um in the 70s it was more abstract yeah and you had like Jimi hendrix right lucy in the sky and it was just and, like we're just going a guitar riff right and it was like whoa Right. What, what have you signed a deal with the devil? Exactly. So that's what people started thinking. Okay. And so yeah. they were like, sign the deal with the devil. And as a matter of fact, we were talking about Stairway to Heaven, and um, I'll say why in a minute, but um, Stairway in, to Heaven in particular was one of those songs that they played backwards. Uh, they didn't, but I mean, you played it after. Parents and in, 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 um, secret message said, Yeah, I think it's called backmasking. And, um, and they found a portion of the song that that and I listened to it yesterday just to be like, can I hear this? You can listen to it on Google, um, on Wikipedia. They have the tiny little yeah. clip. It's a, it's a big, big stretch, but it's something like <clears throat> something about like I like Satan and six 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 or something like this, right? And so anyway, they got a lot of scared parents and they uh, there was even like a um uh, people came together and wanted you know how there's labels on songs that say like parental advisory parent, they wanted to put it on there for like just to let you know if this is played backwards that you will go to hell you go to hell um and also people were playing on turntables so you could play backwards which oh. now i think you'd have a harder time but um so but it was never proven that um that 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 was even true yeah that, that happened it was true and the people that you know the actual band was like we are not even going to comment on that because it's crazy but a lot of people did get caught up in that um at the time a lot of um musician um, musical groups of parents and um government officials saying that this song you think it's okay but yeah play it backwards but it has a message also i feel like yeah that happened on its own with the scared parents it always does right like that's like the most common theme and when rap comes out it's right uh you're listening to that terrible music and then now like it's always the the new things that scare people but also i feel like from a marketing musician side there's that sort of like lean into it like because then kids want to listen to it and so yeah, like, you're right you you saw i feel like in the early 2000s with the illuminati yeah and then you know you'd have jay-z like putting his like hands up and stuff that would any press is good press and yeah. then it's like everyone's listening to it like, yeah it might have contributed because it it, it was the particular song stairway to heaven was so incredibly pro- popular most played song in the history of american fm radio wow um you talked wow. about the kids playing um the guitar trying to learn yeah. it the sheet music is um the biggest selling single piece of sheet music in rock history wow, wow. um and the other thing was is there an english band when it came to america i think it was like maybe delayed by like yeah. two years um they never released stairway to heaven as a single commercially so you had to buy the whole entire album uh, just to get it. So. I see you, Led Zeppelin. Lots of stuff. <laughs> Are they still alive? Um, yeah, three, four. I think there was four. Is there any names that like you know how like in uh, there's like names in other bands where I don't look. 
I don't no, know. No, I know. Like, names. Genesis has Phil Collins. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, it's Robert Plant and um, Jimmy Page are, like, the two big names in it. Yeah. Sorry. Not that important. I don't know. Well, you, well, you're a Gen Zer. I mean, what do you know? I know, you know... Okay. <laughs> um, but, Throw like up. I said, I wanted to say why I kept bringing up Stairway to Heaven, and that's because... It's one word Wednesday. It's one word Wednesday, <laughs> and the word is heaven. No. Stairway. <laughs> Ladder. Don't see. I don't not understand how that um, fits in the scheme. Okay. Ladder. Okay. Ladder. Or the former. No. Ladder. ladder. Like like a fireman climbs a ladder to don't save walk under one to save the kitten from the tree. Yeah. Stupid mm-hmm. kits and. Oh yeah, under ladder is bad luck, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. With that same cat. Oh no, that's Did a. Did I ever tell cat. a story? Where I fell off a ladder. That's fine. Ladders can be dangerous. There's lots of warnings on ladders. How to climb up it, how much you should weigh, what you should bring with you, who should... I'm pretty be- confident on a ladder. You are? Yeah. Which is funny because I did fall from like 20 feet off a ladder. Thanks. But yeah, you know, like some people get nervous. Yeah. I can go up a ladder. Can you go up like those, you know, the, the water tower type, the big, big things you see out there that have like just that metal Oh, I don't know. I think, I, I think I'd get some butterflies in my stomach. Attached. So I said ladder. Um, I'll look in the Bible um, to BibleGateway.com. BibleGateway.com. And I'll see what I can talk about ladder. Obviously, right away, I knew in my mind, well, I'm going to find Jacob's ladder. Jacob's ladder. Jacob's ladder. I always ladder. confuse that with um, Newton's cradle. Oh, I don't know what Newton's cradle is. Isn't Newton's cradle the balls? Oh, the wah, the wah, wah. The, the, the yo-yo? No, I thought Newton's cradle. Wait, or is Newton's cradle like something you do with string? Oh, yeah. The yarn? Yeah. No, wait, what are the balls called? Five balls and you pull one. Oh, the clink, clink, yeah. clink, clink, clink. I don't know. But Jacob's ladder is um is in the is in the, is in Genesis and it's um when Jacob ha- has a ho- visions and he um and he sees a, a ladder up to heaven and the angels are going up and coming down. Okay. Jacob is Abraham's So grandson. they didn't have wings? Um, no. Might have maybe the, I've seen birds walk across the street when a car's coming, and I'm like, "Why aren't you flying?" <laughs> so I looked, but I was looking in the new international version. The and best version that there is. The new international version told me, "No, there's no ladder." You, there, and I said, "Well, that don't make any sense." Well, what the heck? <laughs> Say that, but um, so in in um in in the new international version, the version they were using the word stairway, staircase. To heaven. Stairway to heaven. Was I saying staircase all that time? No, I just don't know the song that well. You need to know it. If you have eight minutes, you can look it up. Uh, so many people have covered it. So I can imagine. So you can, if you know what I'm saying, you can choose which artist you'd like to hear it I from. was at Quizzo yesterday, and um, I got, guess what, guess what place I got. If you guys remember, I used, to, I used to go to Quizzo, and um, I stopped going because I always got last place. Every single time, like without fail, didn't yeah. matter who I was with. Change partners. This time, second to last place. Oh, you moved up. Yeah. It was it was BS. Beginner's though. luck. Beginner's luck. Because you haven't been there in yeah, so long. Yeah, yeah, you take a break. Yeah. But no, and so there's three rounds. Yeah. At the end of the second round, I was in third place out of like 12 teams. And then some, and oh, I'll tell you what, that's <laughs> why I brought this up. I forgot. Third round was music. Okay. But not just any music. Which was been which would have been hard enough, you know, artist and yeah. and song. It was they play a song that you know, okay, and you have to say what the sample is from. Oh, and I, you know, you listen to all the songs and you're like, I didn't even know this was sampled. I thought this so was so like you're like it's Vanilla Ice and he's like stop collaborate and listen, but then in the back is do 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 yeah, and you're like Queen, you know, yeah, like, okay. or or like well, that's even like just the music. Okay, it would be like. You know Eminem Stan, yeah, and and it's like in the main, it's like my tea's gone cold. I'm wondering why. And okay. so you think that's just used for that song, but then you need to say, oh, oh right. that's Dido. Okay, um, whatever yeah. that song's yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that so that 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 knocked you out of the running. Yeah, we, we took a, a steep fall off the cliff. Also on TikTok, I learned, you know, ain't nothing but a hound dog was not by Elvis, and was not by the guy before Elvis. So I think Doja Cat. Came out with a song. Okay. And I, and she, she like is saying, like, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. I don't know how she sings. Mm-hmm. And then people were like, oh, you're copying Elvis. And so the TikTok was like, it was, you know, 20, 2020 or 2022, Doja Cat, 19, whenever, Elvis. Back then, it was just like men's group. And then 
A black guy, fact, I'm guessing, right? A woman. A woman? Yeah. Really? A black yeah. woman. Yeah, a black woman. Yeah, because, I mean, Elvis, it's, it's like kind of well known that all of his stuff came from black people. Yeah. Um, and, and so the song's you know, from like 1930 or wow, something. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. There's a, I think, it's, I think it's an actual TikTok commercial now that says, I learned it on TikTok because so oh, many really? people say it and it's like, it's good for them, you know, because, yeah. and people do say it. Um, Genesis 2812 is Jacob's Ladder. Okay. That's when you're going to hear about that. Um, but in my version, it said Stairway. Okay. Jacob Stairway, which kind of made more sense when you when you read it. That's what it. I'm saying. The last, <laughs> I, I don't know. It just seems a little awkward seeing angels going. And then, like, how do you pass? Excuse each me, other? pardon me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you have to like do like the spin around and go on the other side. So that's what took me to. You have like angel butts in your it, face. It, I remembered out. Stairway to Heaven. Yeah. And in my, um, in my research of the '70s, not that I was there, yeah. but um, I, I I remember my brother. I have an older older oldest brother who it, it was his prom song. And uh, you know how you have song for your prom? Song for prom? <laughs> they pick a song for the prom. Song for the prom? Yeah. Okay. Like, you know, you don't know that, right? I don't really know it. Oh, like when you go to your prom, your school dance, um, there's the theme is usually built around that song. Oh, okay. So cool. his was Stairway to Heaven. But we were all like, because at the time, we were still under that news information. And this was a Catholic school? No, it was Frankfurt. Uh, Frankfurt um, High School sense. in Philadelphia. It's public school. Yeah. But also at the time, it was rumored. It was it was on the rumored on the streets that it was a suicide song, that it that it, that it kind of um, oh stairway to heaven like just yeah like head on up there that the lyrics will encourage oh, drive you, you to yeah um, like not not really drive you but like if you if you're already swaying in that direction like you, it, you'll and maybe someone did and then they played it whisper down the lane of right oh you know someone listened to that song and then. That was the last thing they listened to or it was whatever. So it became like this urban legend that it was a suicide song. When I looked it up the other day, I didn't find – I found the backwards thing. But I yeah. didn't find one thing about it being a suicide song. Um, but, yeah, so I was like, I remember that song. Uh, I remember – I was younger, but I remember like, uh-oh, there's some controversy about Stairway to Heaven. Yeah. Um, Looked it up and so it just made me think of – the ladder the stairway the the one more wednesday is ladder yesterday's poll the polls on instagram yesterday's poll was john um well it lost it was mine what was it it was john 151 <laughs> it was john 151 i was just remembering how um you won with colossians 312 easy light work but um john 151 uh it's jesus talking he's talking to nathaniel which is an which is a apostle and he says very truly i tell you you will see heaven open and the angels of god ascending and descending on the son of man so this is new testament jesus talking to an apostle and making that comment that comment is referring back to genesis the ascending and descending on the stairway that was described by jacob Jacob. yeah on jacob's ladder so that is the end of my um connect the dots for stairways, ladders, was, and uh, shoots and ladders. I was imagining the uh, the always sunny <laughs> yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is me. Stairway to heaven. That is me. I'm like, I can, no, this, I can get there from here um, with a ladder. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so that's it. If it, the, the Jacob's Ladder, very famous. If you want to know something about the Bible, um, it's the first thing you're going to be reading. It's Genesis 28, 12. Yeah. And, um, but ladders in general are always used in imagery of, you know, getting from one yeah. to the next. Yeah. I think no. we talked about it long ago when we were babies starting the podcast. We talked about the staircase of this show and, and of if you want to come in on the very bottom and say, what's a Bible? Yeah. To all the way up when we dissect things on Walk Through Thursdays. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, like I, I can think of a couple analogies, but yeah, like definitely. And I, I think also... Oh, I like this analogy. So we always talk about earthly lives and it's like, oh, you know, you want to excel from that. But I think the importance of it, people will, will then remember you're like, would you just go up one of these straight ladders? Right. We'll do that. And it's like, I I have, I'm scared up here. You're like holding on. It's like, right. I, I'm trying, I want to go back down to earth. And then there's the difference of like, you know, like scaffolding with ladders where it's like you're building the foundation slowly and slowly. And then you're on a secure building away from Earth. And I think that's the importance. Right? Like, 
because you don't really get anything. You do, but it's like it's not sustainable when people just are trying to say, I don't want to le- live an earthly life. It's like, right. I'm just going to detach. Right. And I'm going to be a spiritual person. It's like, well, you don't even have a first floor foundation. Right. You're just on a, you're on a, a rickety ladder. Yeah, you can get away from earth. And I, I get rid of all earthly desires and pleasures. It's like, right. you need to work slowly. Yes. Um, And then the other thing I was thinking of while you were talking is inversely, um, imagine like a pit in the ground. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you can't get out. It's like uh-huh. a ladder. And I feel like a ladder is often used as like a symbolism. Oh, of, you mean like someone drops it down for you? Yeah. Like a oh, yeah, physical thing to yeah. get you out of something or to, right. like, to be, and you know, I think there is that idea of, you know, being feeling stuck or feeling in a hole and you know, you're a metaphorical ladder, you yeah. know, it's like spirituality, the Bible, it's like using something outside of yourself. Right. To get you out of a situation. Right. How's that? I, I like that. And also it's putting me in mind, um, you know, you said, why are the angels not flying up and down? And and I don't know what, what the process is. Um, and if anyone does think they do, they, they're lying to you. They're liar. <laughs> I don't know what the process is, but it, it is interesting that in the Bible, it's describing that the angels are going up and down the staircase. Jesus reinforces it in the New Testament. It makes it so much more important that Mary was assumed into heaven oh, don't you yeah, think yeah. like it's, it kind of shows you how important she was because even the angels bring themselves up yeah. or walk but you know what i'm saying like go up or down but um jesus ascended himself and she yeah. was assumed but it how they are so important they bypass the staircase yeah no i i like i like because you know sometimes when you just think of to heaven and out of head like back and forth from earth it's a very abstract concept but I kind of like the idea of the actual ascending, like of a ladder or a staircase. Have you ever seen the clouds making steps? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. And it's like it's that idea of actually transporting yourself right. to a higher plane, right? Right. That's what a ladder does; it puts you to a higher plane. Right. And it's not just a different dimension. It's like no, I'm, I'm elevating myself to heaven. Right. I'm coming back down to earth. Right. That up, down, elevating ground level. You're right, and if you want. To help somebody, you know, the, we always say, like, I don't know how to help you or I wish I could help you. And and maybe it's just to drop a ladder into that hole drop, for, for yeah, somebody. Yeah, drop a ladder. and um, Whatever that would be. You and know. also, yeah, I mean, just to go on a final point, because um, I think this is just important for anyone if you're trying to help someone. Yeah. Depending on what their situation is, it might be tough, but... Sometimes all all you can all you want to do is all you should be doing is put in that ladder there, right? Like yeah, allowing them to climb out. Because so, I feel like too often we think we need to jump in the hole with them, and it's like, oh, and, that, and right then, there, and then you're both in the hole, and it's like, or even use yourself, you know, and then yeah, you get, and then you get pulled down. Yeah, you get pulled down. It's like, the yeah. uh, you know, you drop the ladder, and it's up to them if they want to climb it or not. Right. All you can do is provide the ladder. Let's end on that note. Provide a ladder, will you? Just provide a ladder. <laughs> but guys, that is One Word Wednesday. How you doing? I like the outfit schemes today. It's very yeah pure. Mm-hmm. And then Philly Frank back there. Um, no, I kind of like the contrast. Kind of reminds me of like, I don't know. It's nautical. Nautical chic. Um, we'll be back tomorrow for Walk Through Thursday. Uh, stay blessed. Uh, climb a ladder. Peace. Oh,